Hello there, John Hall from Writing of Pens. Today we're going to talk about Radius 1931. It's an old brand, Radius. Um, they were made just outside Turin in the 1930s, 40s and 50s. If you're a collector of vintage pens, you're probably all already familiar with them. They made some very beautiful and much sought after pens. But the brand has been bought by Leonardo, another but much more modern name in Italian pen making. And well, let's have a look and see how they're getting on with them. Okay, always a good bit, the unboxing. And well, to start with, yes, it is a nice looking, very tasteful box. It's the name Radius. Uh, oh, trademark Italian since 1932, I think that is. And an interesting design of flowers and things on the design. There we go, let's have a look inside. Right, well here's, there we go, oh, an extra little wrapping, never, never knowingly underwrapped anything from Leonardo, or now Radius, so we have some information about the brand here. And telling you that for the uh, guarantee to be valid, you must not mishandle, disassemble, do anything awful to it. So that's fair enough, that's fair enough, and all this sort of thing. But I suppose what we're really interested in is the pen. And here we are. This one, oh, sorry, is glossy black. I'll take this off. And it has ruthenium markings, ruthenium appointments, which is very nice looking actually. So we've got this very characteristic radius cap band, um, a straight lift from the original brand, a very nice touch too. We have a clip, it's not sprung, oh, but it is, it's a very nice clip indeed, actually. Sometimes these are a bit stiff, but that's lovely, that works really well. So, so far we've got an unmarked glossy black pen, which in my view is pretty classic looking actually. Let's have a look here. Well, there we go. Black ruthenium nib. And it's marked radius. That's good. Uh, the nibs, I'm sure, are like all the Leonardo pens, straightforward Jovos, that have been appropriately branded. We open up because this is a cartridge converter pen. There we go. And that's the workings on the inside. Does it post? It certainly does, quite securely. That's, that's nice. And it's a very nice sized pen. I mean, it's, it's very much a not a very normal, average size pen. Um, I would probably post it if I was going to use it. Yes, that, that feels a little bit more comfortable for me, but that's a matter of choice and depends very much on the size of your hands. Right, now, we're going to do a quick writing test. So I shall get myself some ink and some paper. Okay then, so we have the pen. Let's have a look here because I think it's going to tell us that it is a medium nib. Can we get any closer? That's my cat, Poppy. She's deaf as a post, unfortunately. So I can't hear the appalling noise that she occasionally makes. But she's a lovely cat. Right then. I don't know what they do with these nibs, but that's absolutely lovely. It's a straightforward steel nib and it feels absolutely smooth and very enjoyable. Tiny little bit of feedback, not much. And we are testing a radius. Settimo, this is where my spelling goes to pot. 
So it's a Nero. Luster. With a medium nib. I usually try to avoid doing writing tests on the basis that my handwriting is neither pleasure nor ornament. But there we go. So, the pen sat in the den. I think this is one that would come out quite often actually. It's a really, I've got to say it again, it's really very pleasant. Um, just dipped very quickly. Flow is good. Yeah, this is a nib that would do very nicely for anyone. So here we go. So the new radius. They're coming from Leonardo. They have all of the Leonardo virtues, which is that they're well made. The nibs are very nice indeed and they're not too expensive so I leave you with this really nice radius pen.